Hello, and welcome to another episode of Daily Music History. I'm Abraham. And I'm Wes. And today, we're talking about the one of my favorite rock bands. The Who. The Who. That's exactly right. And what do you know about The Who, Abraham? Um, they had a competition with the Beatles. They did. They did. What was that competition about, do you know? Who could sound the heaviest. Who could sound the heaviest. Now, on an individual song, it could have been the Beatles. But overall... Definitely the Who, I think. <laughs> I think. So yeah, they are one of my favorite all-time bands. And on today's date, which is December fifteenth, the in nineteen sixty-seven, the Who released their third album, The Who Sell Out. Now this was a concept album. Do you know what a concept album is? No. It's an it's an album that has one basic idea that overrides the whole thing. So the idea for this album was that it was going to be a or supposed to be a broadcast of a pirate radio station. So do you know what a pirate radio station is? It's a radio station that the pub, that the government did not say could be on a radio station. That's exactly right. It's a, it's an illegal radio station. And now why they call it a pirate one, I have no idea, but it's a cool name. <laughs> pirate radio and station. It, and it, it, it is an illegal uh, radio broadcast, a radio station. So in the midst of this album, you have commercials things like Heinz Beans, which is a, a, you know, a company that makes canned beans. And that resulted in The Who actually being sued uh, by some of these for using real commercials in their, in their uh, broadcast. Now, some critics consider this the best Who album. I disagree with them, although it, it is fantastic in and of itself. Um, my favorite is Who's Next, but, and I think a lot of people consider Who's Next as well their greatest album, but for today it's the Who Sell Out. Now, one of the key songs on this album is called I Can See For Miles. And uh, according to the stories that I read, Pete Townsend uh, called Paul McCartney and said, you guys can't do heavier than this. We just did the heaviest song that either of our bands has ever done. And then Paul McCartney wrote Helter Skelter, <laughs> which is an extraordinarily heavy song and I think in that particular instance I have to give credit to Sir Paul I think he won but one of the great things about I can see for miles myself the first time I heard it it stood out the the who have the um, arguably the greatest drummer who ever played rock music Keith Moon now I I think Keith Moon is just fantastic he's one of one of three drummers who the first time I heard them, I really noticed them, and they, they, they stood out to me for their playing. And uh, Keith Moon was the first one ever did that. And in I Can See For Miles, during the chorus, instead of playing a, a standard drum beat, Keith Moon plays a drum roll throughout the entire chorus, which is just remarkable. Like, doodle, 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 doodle. No, Throughout the entire chorus, it's just remarkable, and it, you you know you think of a chorus that a a chorus with a, a a good steady hard drum beat should really drive a song, and that is exactly what happens. It it just propels the song just out of this world, and that's one of the things about Keith Moon. He was always you know it drives some people crazy, but I love it. He's got drum rolls everywhere. He he puts drum rolls where no other drummer would even think to do them. And that, to me, is one of the things that makes him fantastic. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I can see for miles. If you haven't heard it, that's an excellent song, and it would be a great one to go check out uh, as soon as you get done with this. And uh, pay attention to the choruses and pay attention to Keith Moon's drum rolls because it's really something to listen to. Do so you have anything else about The Who and The Who sellout? No, oh, it's got a rather interesting cover where uh, Pete Townsend is putting on uh, deodorant and Roger Daltrey the singer is sitting in a bathtub filled with Heinz beans <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty interesting alright well if you don't have anything else bud we're going to end it there for today well can I give you some advice sure don't let a pilot make a commercial yeah yeah there's <laughs> pirates in their radio stations I'm telling you <laughs> selling their swords and parrots and <laughs>
<laughs> and eye patches. <laughs> All right. Well, anything else, bud? No. All right. Well, I think it's time to say goodbye. Bye. And if you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And go listen to some music. In particular, The Who today. <sighs>